Hey, what's up all? Wardrobe here. Hey, I want to apologize. I had a lifesaver in my mouth as I was making this, uh, the beginning of this video. So I apologize. Not very professional. What's up Anyway, all? let's get Wardrobe going. Wardrobe here. Talk about these lovely models I just got from the company Gaming Models. So Gaming Models is a company, I, I think these are a light resin. And the tanks run about five, four to five bucks each. Um, you get, I think, four or five bucks get you maybe two bucks, three bucks get you a couple guns. I don't remember, but you can buy in platoon packs. He's he's got just about everything out there. You can get them unprimed or unpainted or whatever, or you can get them this kind of green color, or they can come in other colors, I believe. But um, I always say, yeah, bring them bring them colored. It's just kind of get me started on the French. Um, kind of get kind of uh, prime the pump as it were, uh, and all you have to do is put the. Uh, Put the uh, well, it comes off even that. Just put the turrets on, and that's the assembly. And guess what? That's what I like. That's the kind of assembly I like. Um, so let's talk about a pretty good order. I mean, I placed the order. Um, besides me not telling him, uh, giving him the right PayPal thing for something we had to do, it would have happened faster. But it happened fast. Once the order got there, and I'd I'd fixed my mistake, it went fast. Got them, and they were done pretty quick. Or got to me pretty quick. Uh, in good shape. Um, I didn't realize the early war French tanks were camouflage like they were, so I'll I will have I will have to do some stuff to them just so they look a little bit more like the time, but that's okay. Um, so I ordered a couple of H39 37 millimeter longs. So that's where there they are. I think it looks rougher on the camera than it really is, in my opinion, but it's pretty smooth. And it looks good when you got paint on it. And I think they're great. I got some other stuff from him a long time ago. Oh, look, everyone. The bottom's painted. So if that was me, I wouldn't have done that. Got the good old Samwa S35. So I got these to play at, um, McMurray and some Chain of Command. Possibly I'll do use it for bolt action. Maybe bigger battles. Um, so the Samwa. I think some of the, sometimes the details aren't, the details aren't quite as good on these as some, and then you get some good details. So again, I am a all about get them, get them on the table. That's my style. I've never washed one of these, so I'm excited to put some paint to them. I've never done that because I've only got a few samples before. The Panhard AC, pretty crazy looking. They got some crazy stuff. There's big old bolts on them. It's pretty crazy. So the turrets all turn and all that. You couldn't, you can't magnetize them. Because they're these little plastic things, but I, th I think that's okay. Three of those th R35s. I think I already have some R35s. But these are pretty cool. Nice looking. Got a couple of the 47 uh, McMurray's ordering some, um, some um, crew from Command Decision. Old Glory. Then he threw these in. For nothing. A Char D2 and an R40. I think the R40 appears to be a, a variant. I should have looked this stuff up, but, you know, I don't want to be prepared. And a variant of the R35. Or D2, which I always think is amazing. you got this big old tank and this little tiny turret up top. I think I got the right turret on the right gun, on the right tank. I looked at everything. It's pretty interesting. So I'll, I'll look at a little bit more details on some of these tanks and see what's going on with them. But... Um, I like them. I'm ready to ready to play. Um, bear with me just a minute. I want to see what that R40, what it's about. I'll be right back. Okay, so I skimmed a lot. There's a lot of little changes they made, but Chase, they changed the suspension because this one wasn't as good. They changed it, but it sounds like it got worse gas mileage. I didn't see what that was about. I'm sure someone could tell me if it's probably to keep it from tipping over or something. I don't know as it went up a hill. Um, but it turned out it really wasn't that good, and they kind of, uh, they lost the war, and they stopped making them. And there were only a few made, 100-some plus made of the 15, 16, 1700 made. And then this, the H39, was actually an expansion, you know, the next step after this. That came about, so I learned that, and they were just trying to fiddle with the suspension. Apparently, this was really loud, the bumpy ride, clattering of the things, I don't know. So, they were experimenting. The paint, bottom painted. All right, that's it. I really appreciate it. I like gaming models a lot. They're perfect for what I want to do. If you're really into detail and, you know, you're persnickety about that stuff, which is fine, may may or may not be a good fit for you. But if you want to get stuff on the table and go and they look pretty good, go for it. I love it. I like them. So thanks, gaming models, for your fast service and good work. And I appreciate the two free ones, too.
Pew, pew. Oh, I should look up the stats in uh, Blitzkrieg Commander. I keep thinking I'm done, but then I'm not. So here's one more go. Let's uh, let's see what's going on. Just a second. And I've decided I am going to make that a separate video. So look for another video where I talk about the stats for these uh, tanks in Blitzkrieg Commander. All right, we'll talk at you. See ya. Bye.